Welcome to Superimpose app, one of the first few photo editing apps on the App Store that allows you to combine multiple photos to create a unique composition. In this video, I will explain how to create a simple Superimpose project by combining two or more photos. We basically need two photos to work with Superimpose app. We need one background and one foreground photo. First, we have to load the background photo. Here is the button that we can use to load a photo into the app. You can see a couple of options here. First one is called the create new project. We can use this or we can use any of these buttons below to load our first photo, the background. Photos will let you pick a photo from your camera roll. Stock lets you search and pick a photo from the stock photos that the app comes with. We will discuss the mask library option later. Colors will let you pick a solid color or a color gradient as a background photo. Paste is where you pick the photo that you have copied into the device pasteboard from another app. In this example, we are going to use the photos option to pick a photo from the device. After you pick a photo, the app will let you crop it if you need to. You can also select an aspect ratio of the crop. Aspect ratio is the ratio between the width and height of the cropped photo. Let me crop the image to make it look better in portrait mode. And then, press the accept button here to load it. And here we have our first photo loaded into the app. This is the background photo. We will now add a foreground photo on top of the background to create a composition. When we press this button this time, we can see that we have two options now. We can either replace the background or we can add a foreground. We are going to add a foreground from photos. Since I am only interested in the balloon, I will crop the image. And then press the accept button to load it. Now we can see that the foreground is placed on top of our background image. We already have a superimpose photo here. But this does not look very interesting. We need to remove the sky around the balloon. That can be done in the mask section. We can select a masking tool from here. Or, we can press the settings button to list out all the masking tools, along with their settings. The default tool is the magic wand. This tool removes, or masks, all the pixels which are connected to the point where you have touched, that are similar in color. You can tap and drag. The more you drag away from the original point, the more relaxed is the condition the app uses to decide if a pixel is similar in color. In other words, the more you drag, the more it masks. This tool is useful for removing large portions of an image which are similar in color. To get a better view of the foreground and its masked pixels, we can use this view button here. We can then select how we want to view the masked pixels. Mask as checkerboard pattern. or as a color, or as a blurred color pattern, etc. It looks good. Now we can go back to the normal view, where we can see the composed image. It is already looking good, but we need to place the balloon at a better position. We can move, scale and rotate the foreground image in the transform section. Let us do that. This is better now. We are almost done, but it would look better if the balloon had a shadow. And that is easy. We can use the Cast Shadow tool to do that. Open the Shadow tool and move and reshape the shadow as appropriate. We can also play around with the opacity and blur of the shadow to make it look more natural. Once done, press the accept button. We have a nicely composed superimposed photo now. But what if I want to add one more balloon in the composition? 
we can save the masked foreground in the mask library, so that we do not have to mask it again. We can tap the export button here. And then press this save mask button, to save the mask into the mask library. But since, we can work only with two photos in the Superimpose app. To add a third photo, we need to merge down the foreground image into the background. We can press this merge button here to merge down the foreground. Now we can proceed to add another foreground. This time we will add the foreground from our saved mask library. As we can see, we have the masked balloon here in the mask library. We select that and press the accept button. Since this balloon is already masked, we can skip the masking part. We do the transform and shadow, just like we did before. And now we have two balloons. We can now use some filters to make it look better. In the filters section, we can choose either foreground or background image here. The filter will be applied on the selected image. As we can see we have multiple filter options. But in this case, we will only use the effect option. Select the foreground. And now select the same effect. We can tap the export button and then select the save option to save the superimposed image into the camera roll. That is all in this tutorial. Thank you for watching.